Hi, today we're going to show you five tips and tricks uh, for use in the Indusoft Web Studio version 7.0 development system. Some things that you may not have known about or might make your development a little bit easier. The first thing I wanted to show you is on the graphics tab here, this disable drag. And as you can see in the tooltip, uh, control D will disable an object dragging in the screen editor. So for example, if I've designed a nice screen layout that I want to keep everything positioned the way that it is, um, I can turn on uh, disable drag. Now what that does, if I want to configure an object, let's say for example I've configured this screen and laid everything out the way that I wanted it. But I come in here and when I double click on an, uh, uh, an object, if I accidentally nudge it a little bit or move it a little bit, maybe I'm not so skilled with a mouse, then that's not lined up exactly where I wanted it. So now by using control D, I can hit control D and it also shows up here down on the status bar as no drag. Now when I double click on an object it doesn't move or it has no way to move. I can still open up the properties and configure it and work with it but it doesn't move uh, anywhere on the screen. And to turn that off I can simply hit control D again. So that's one thing. The second thing is uh, right click to set screen as startup. So for example uh, in the past, you used to have to go here to Project, Viewer, and pull this drop down down and select your screen or screen group that you wanted to use as your uh, startup screen. Now you can simply right click on the screen or uh, startup, I'm sorry, screen group and set as startup. And that's the same thing as going into that menu. So that's very easy to pick that from the list. Um, the next thing that I wanted to show you is that we've had it down here in the bottom right corner of the status bar is the tag count. And that shows you an updated tag count that you've used in your project uh, at any given time. So it's very easy to see in just a glance. You don't have to dive into any menus or, or try to figure out where that is. It's, it's displayed conveniently right there on your screen. Um, another thing that I wanted to show you, let me go create a new screen here. Insert, right click there and, and hit insert. I'll keep the defaults. Is, um, using the shift and the arrow keys to, to uh, position objects on the screen exactly where you want them. So for example, here I have selected an object or a button and now I can position that anywhere that I want to on the screen. And let's go ahead and turn on the snap to and the, for the grid. Now if I take that button and I hold down the shift key while I am using my arrow keys on my keyboard, uh, no longer using the mouse, I can position that anywhere on the grid exactly where I want it. Um, now if I turn off the grid, or snap to I should say, turn off the snap to, I can again select the object, hold down the shift key and use the arrow keys and position that exactly where I want it from a pixel by pixel um, resolution. Uh, alternative to that is I can use this format tab and I can use this X and Y coordinate and I can position that exactly where I want that. So maybe I want that at uh, maybe it's 260 and 70 so I can get that exactly positioned where I want it. So that's one one thing that you can use uh, or a couple different things. You can use the shift and the arrow keys or you can use this position to uh, exactly position that where you want to. Uh, another thing that I wanted to show you in Indusoft Web Studio we have rectangles and ellipse um, but there is no square and circle. I'll show you a real easy step on how to do that. So for a square we can take a rectangle and we might get it close, um, might get it approximate, and we can use the format and then we can click on how to do this exactly the same height and the width. We can click on resize here and that will make the height and the width exactly the same dimensions therefore you get a square out of it. And If you want to alter that a little bit we can position those let's say at 80 by 80 uh, maybe you have a amount of screen space you want to take up and you know uh, exactly how big those need to be. Uh, it's the same thing for an ellipse. So if I draw an ellipse and I want to turn that into a circle, I can then again come in here and hit resize and it will make that um, perfectly circular. Now normally the resize is is meant for objects that are of different sizes. So let me copy that and give you an example of what that's normally used for. I can take this, select these objects, and now that will resize all the objects either horizontally or vertically or both based on the 
reference of the last one that I have selected here, you can see by the darker handles around the outside of the object. So if, let's say if I resize both, it will make all those objects the same size as that reference object. Um, so there is five tips and tricks the, for Indusoft Web Studio version 7.0. Hopefully you found this useful, and if you need to contact us, you can do so at the following uh, uh, locations. For more information regarding Indusoft Web Studio version 7, you can visit our website, as shown here, at www.indusoft.com, or other websites at indusoft.com.br, indusoft-germany.de, or you can send us emails at info at indusoft.com.br, or indusoft-germany.de, or give us a call directly at any of the numbers listed here on the screen. Thank you for listening, and I uh, hope you have a nice day.